Hi English 9, I'm happy that we are able to use video um, cams to chat here and to share some things. So I wanted to walk you through what we're going to be doing um, kind of this first week of e-learning. Tonight's Wednesday night, so I'll post this tonight and then our official e-learning actually starts tomorrow morning. So I just wanted to kind of walk you through um, where I'm going to be posting things, how I'll be posting things, and then what things are due just this first week. So as you can see, um, I have my webcam down here and um, I'm screencasting my screen. And so I'll start by talking about um, this handout that I posted. This is on Google Classroom. I posted this earlier this week. And this is just called Distance Learning Fun with Miss Ketch, English 9. And this just goes through what we're doing um, this week. So to start, we'll do our quote of the day. Our quote of the day is, good actions are the invisible hinges on the doors of heaven. That's Victor Hugo. And I'd like to make a prayer intention for anybody out there who is struggling because of this quarantine and the isolation. Obviously, we're going to be praying for anybody who is sick or ill or anybody who is in need of our prayers during this time. Remember that CJ is always available if you need to call. They have that student support line. If you have any concerns about anything going on at home, if you're not able to access the resources you need, if you even just need like a Chromebook charger, if you forgot something at CJ that you need for e-learning, if you do not have Wi-Fi, if your family is struggling, if you call um, or email that CJ helpline, they will put you in contact with somebody kind of during this whole duration of while we're out just to make sure that you guys have the help you need. And then, of course, you can always just, if you can't figure that out, you can always email myself or you can email Mr. G, and we will put you in touch with the right people to make sure that everybody is safe at home, everybody's got food, everybody's got the internet they need, and everybody understands what they're doing with this e-learning. So um, e-learning starts tomorrow, and the idea is we want to make sure that all the students are engaged in doing what they're supposed to do. So we're going to be posting our first round of grades on March 24th. So by March 24th, which is next week, I don't know what day, Tuesday maybe, I can't even track the dates anymore. Um, we want to make sure that you've logged on, that you've done something. So by March 24th of the work that we've done this week, I want to see that you have done something because um, as of March 24th, if you haven't done anything, CJ's going to start reaching out home, emailing parents, calling parents, and just making sure that you guys aren't having any trouble um, getting online or doing anything online. So um, before we left, I gave everybody this book. It's the graphic novel version of To Kill a Mockingbird. Um, I dropped off copies of this at your house, Zoray and Duan, because you were not here when I passed this out. So both of you, Zoray, I put this on your side porch, and Dewan, I put this on your front covered porch. So everyone should have a copy of this book. If for some reason you do not have a copy of this book, remember the school building is open tomorrow, and you can stop in and get things out of your locker. Um, the school building opens at 10 o'clock tomorrow. You can come anytime. And if for some reason you miss coming in tomorrow, Tomorrow and you still need to get to the building, if you reach out to that uh, Student Help Support Center at CJ, um, they will get you the materials you need. But let me know if you do not have a copy of this book, because this is what we're going to be doing for most of the three weeks that we're out. So you really need to have this book, or else you're not going to be able to do what we're doing, okay? Um, so this is the graphic novel version of To Kill a Mockingbird. So we said the nice thing about it is that it really looks like a comic book. And so when we talk about, like, um, in this first section, you have to read pages 1 through 51. You're not reading 50 pages, because so much of this book is a comic like if you look at this page the only squares that actually have words are the ones up here and the ones down here there aren't even any words on this page there are pictures but you you do um, look at those pictures to kind of understand what's going on in the story even if you already read to kill a mockingbird so I put this sheet um, online here about what we're doing. So it says uh, for this starting this week and then all of next week, we're going to start reading this graphic novel version of To Kill a Mockingbird on our own. We're going to read pages 1 through 51, um, which if you look here, it's not a huge amount of the book. We wanted to kind of start slow, Mr. G and I did. So if you look at the book here and you can kind of see, it's about this much of the book. So not too, too much. Um, I posted online an online reading guide that I want you to start working on um, either as you are reading or when you finish reading those sections. And you can see it looks just like this. It says To Kill a Mockingbird Week 1, Graphic Novel Reading Guide for pages 1 through 51, which in the book version is chapters 1 through 4. So I said at the end of each week after this is due, I'll post a video on Google Classroom that reviews these questions. You must turn this back into Classroom. Don't wait for me to post that video with the answers because I'm typically not going to do that until after the assignment is already due. Okay, um, This is due into Classroom not this Sunday, but next Sunday. So this assignment is due not this Sunday, but next 
next Sunday. And so you can just see here, these are the questions. You're gonna type in your answer, wherever your answer is. I made a copy of this for each student in classroom. So everyone has their own copy. You don't need to make a copy of it. You don't need to ask me for permission for it. You just go into classroom. Everybody has a copy of this assignment, all right? So there's that. Um, the other thing is that we're going to continue working on grammar. And so you can see on here that we're going to work on these IXL activities that I posted here. Um, these just continue the grammar that we started earlier this year. For some reason, you already did these exercises and you need some new ones. Just send me an email and I'll send you some new exercises. Um, we're going to be working on level J and we're going to be doing exercises Z2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. If you have fewer posted, um, Mr. G might have changed a few things um, for you so you're not doing as many. So just check and do the ones it tells you to do. Um, we're aiming to spend either 10 minutes on each of these or to get a SMART score of 90. And again, these are going to be due uh, either done to a SMART score of 90 or 10 minutes on each of them by not this Sunday, but next Sunday. You do not need to turn these in. IXL sends me a notification as you're doing these so I can put them in the grade book. Um, I don't know if I put this on here or not. Okay, yeah, I did. So it says, what else should I be doing on a regular basis for this class? Try to read, right? If you're not reading To Kill Mockingbird, try to read something, whether it's a magazine. Uh, just keep reading. I think one of the ways we want to make sure that you don't fall behind here uh, one of the ways to do that is to make sure that you're continuing to read something, even if it's like your little siblings books or something. Um, I also need you to continue checking your email and posting on Classroom. You'll see I posted on our Classroom page. This is my other class. Oh, no, this is us. Um, I put on here, I'm going to leave this thread open for questions. Uh, when you comment on here, I can come back. It'll send me an email letting me know you commented, and then I can come back and I can give you the answer. So you might say here, like, uh, Miss Catch, when is the IXL due? And then when you post that, everyone in the class can see it, and then I can come in and respond and everyone can see it. So instead of waiting for me to get back to you, maybe another student can respond and help you. If you see somebody post something and you know the answer to it, feel free to respond. Obviously, it goes without saying, whatever you post on here has to be appropriate. You know who you are. Okay, um, so here's the thread question. I'm going to leave this thread open. Here's the reading guides posted. Um, here is the plan. If you want to go ahead and work ahead for whatever reason, if you want to keep reading this book um, because you like it, go ahead and keep reading. We are eventually going to read to the end of this book, regardless of when we go back to school. Obviously, we have no idea when we're going to be back to school. Um, and it might not be for a while. And so we're just going to continue this plan, Mr. G. I have a plan that will go all the way through May if we need to. Um, and so we're going to continue to keep reading this book. So if you're interested, don't feel like, oh, I got to page 51. I'm going to stop for now. Like, if you are interested in the book, you know, keep reading it. Keep reading it. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to tell you. I want to show you my cat. Hang on. Let me get my cat. Here's my cat. Look, she's so excited. Say hi. Say hi to my ninth graders. Hi. Oh, she's not happy. Okay, bye-bye. All right. Um, again, email me if you have any questions or concerns um, or you're not sure what we're doing, and I will help you out.